And joining us now is a man who knows the dangers of chemical weapons all too well. What would happen if they got into the hands of terrorists? The newly appointed director of public safety in Jersey City, Jim Shea. We welcome you back to the program. We congratulate you on the uh, appointment going through the council there. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, when, when we see, uh, you know, what's, what's happened in Syria and from your time on the terrorism task force, uh, do you live with a with daily concern about this sort of stuff getting into this country and, and perhaps being set loose upon our communities? Well, certainly. I think everybody in the public safety business has that concern ever since 9-11, utmost in their mind. Syria is particularly concerning for a couple of reasons. Just like Afghanistan, we have jihadists from everywhere going there and flocking there, so we have to worry about what will happen to them once they decide to leave after having been trained and experienced. And also, Syria is traditionally a state sponsor of the Hezbollah terrorist organization, and if the United States is involved in a conflict there, we're going to have to worry about an asymmetrical response from them. They've struck elsewhere in the world in the past. After 9-11, I mean, you know far better than I, there was all sorts of concern and worries and talk about who knows what they have in this country already. When would the attack come in the form of biologicals or chemicals? Are you more worried now or less worried now or the same as you were 12 years ago? Uh, I believe we've done a lot in 12 years to prepare and to prepare to respond to such an attack. But I believe the worry, the apprehension that they may be planning something stays with us all the time. Governor has signed now a new law that essentially says if, if your old colleagues at the NYPD want to conduct surveillance of any sort here in the Garden State, they got to first notify New Jersey State Police officials first. You think that's a wise move? Uh, yes, I do. I believe that uh, any police or any organization that is going to move into the jurisdiction of another organization should definitely inform the controlling jurisdiction that they're coming in there, if only to prevent a friendly fire situation or two people working the same investigation and crossing each other up. In addition, I believe that the local jurisdiction has a better feel for what's happening and should be able to control what happens within their borders. You were with NYPD, Terrorism Task Force. Were you aware, if you can answer this question, were you aware of the surveillance of Muslims in New Jersey at that time? Uh, no. I was in the NYPD's Joint Terrorism Task Force, assigned with the FBI to terrorism investigations all over the world. The part of the NYPD doing those surveillances was a separate unit, the NYPD Intelligence Unit, and we did not work together. As far as we can tell, there's been no indication of any surveillance activities of that sort producing any terrorism suspects or, or leading to any arrests or convictions. Does that mean that operation kind of was a failure, in, in, on, on, not only up on a PR level, but on a, a level of being an efficient way to allocate your manpower? Well, again, repeating that I'm not a privy to all the investigations they've done, I believe that after 9-11, people felt that we need to do everything possible and exhaust every possibility to prevent the next attack. Uh, that, I'm sure, is where the surveillance operation came from. Whether it was an efficient use of resources, looking back now, 11 years later, would be an answer for the people who administered it. Now that the council has, has, has said, you're, you're the man, you got the job, what's the first thing you do in Jersey City now that you, uh, you've been waiting to do? Well, uh, for the last couple months, I've been working with the Jersey City Police Department, the Jersey City Fire Department, uh, wonderful organizations, um, impressed every day. While I was there, the Jersey City Police Department on two occasions apprehended someone who pointed a weapon at them and attempted to fire without even firing their weapons. The Jersey City Fire Department has responded to five alarm, four alarm, three alarm fires, a huge fire out of an industrial thing. So mostly what I want to do is keep moving forward with them and move into the next uh, phase of Jersey City. Not the Jersey City Police and Fire Department, but Jersey City. Police and fire officers are uh, wonderful people, and lately, as they are getting paid what they're worth, they're more expensive than they were a while ago. So we have to do more with less, though that phrase has become a little trite. We do need to make sure that the people are getting what they pay for when they invest in police and fire protection. And the mayor's stated goal of, of shaking things up in the police department, for instance, does that make your... Does that give you a mission to really go out and to, and to focus and have the energy to have to go through a major overhaul? Or does that give you some limitations in terms of your ability to, as, as his uh, director of public safety, deal with a force that in some cases may not want to be shaken up? Well, uh, everybody's always apprehensive about change. But 
the mayor's mandate is very clear, to ensure that we're using our resources wisely. And then he will make a decision whether we need additional resources. Jersey City is a dynamic city. It's the second largest city in New Jersey and probably approaching the first largest city. If I can be a little parochial, I live there now, mm -hmm. so I'm proud of it. But it's probably approaching the first. It's a incredible financial sector, 10 of the largest buildings in New Jersey, a major terrorism threat with a lot of the infrastructure that goes on there in addition to certain crime problems in certain neighborhoods that have seemed intractable in the past. So we have to make sure we're using all our resources to the utmost and if that involves reorganization, then that's what we'll have to do. And then once we do that, we'll see if we have the appropriate resources for a dynamic Jersey City of today. On that note, we'll leave it there. Appreciate your coming on in again, sir. Thank you. Thank you.